Now we're going to build this three stone uh, four prong head ring with one carat center stone and 4.5 uh, meter side stones with white gold all the way around. Save now. This is the ring. Now we're going to start from the beginning. To create this ring always, file new design, opens up a new canvas, jewelry, finger size, size 7, click OK, bring the diamonds, always we bring the center stone first, 6.5 millimeter, enter, close the stone, uh, go to templates, double click, we're gonna bring the heads. This time we're gonna pick the heads, uh, this one, and make sure that the head is exact the size of the stone. Perfect. That's good. Uh, we're gonna pick this head and the stone, move it together up above the finger rail. From the front view, we can see that it's exactly. Going to a little bit more higher. Nice. Now I need to go bring another stone. This time I'm gonna bring stone 4.5 millimeter stone, small ones for the side stones. Uh, I'm gonna click on the template, heads again, the same head. As you see, the stone is smaller than the head. What we need to do over here, this is the highlighted head 69. Click on plus, select the solid. Make sure you select the solid, not the head. Then display design pull tool. Click on a scale and make sure that you select the point for this, the point of the origin. I'm going to select this point. If I select this point here and I can pull my mouse backwards, I can rescale the head as you see. Now this is the smallest head that I have for this stone, it's perfect. This time we're gonna close this minus 10 to plus, select this basket, we're not selecting the upper basket, we're selecting the lower basket with the control, press hold on control, select the round, 4.5, move it up above exact height for the stone, then left click on trajectory, select the line of the ring, rotate the basket around the trajectory on the side. You can move it backwards in a little bit more. And when you're done, you can mirror this from the center plane, the bezel and the stone. Select. Now we're going to, we need to bring a shank jewelry template and double click on the shank I want to pick the shank 71 open as you see my shank is intersected to the ring so I need to move the shank back because my stone is touching the top of the shank on here we have the shank 71 plus select the solid of the shank if you're in the move tool if not click on move tool Rotate the green, move your, rotate your basket, your shank according to the, where you want to place the shank in. Then, as you see from this other side is intersected. Combine the shank from the center, delete the shank. Mirror from the center plane again. Select the shank and everything is done. Click on select tool. This is it. Now what we need to do, we need to pick pull tool, selected line, both side, and move it both side. Just zoom in with your uh, <coughs> scroll. Move your scroll and move it this way. Then select the surface, click on one side because we just want to move it up only, at least point 7.8, if it's enough depends however you want the thicknesses this is the bar to hold the baskets from the bottom so this is the gallery and this is the ring this is how we can finish this ring it's very simple very easy thank you